David, you've already played Southampton once this season. It was nil-nil at the John Smith Stadium. Can you take anything from that game going into into the uh, the away tie tomorrow? Yeah, I think so, because they have the same idea of football, the same manager, uh, same players. So there are some uh, things which we can take out of this game, even if we are now in another stage of the season. Uh, I think it was a fair result, the nil-nil which we, which we had at the beginning of the season. They had their first biggest, uh, the first biggest chance in the game. And further on, we, I think, had maybe more uh, good opportunities than them. At the end, it was a fair result, I think. So yes, um, we will take something out of this game, but at the end it's a new game, it's a away game, uh, where uh, for sure we again have to come to our best to, to perform like we have done in the past, but uh, our aim is clear. Uh, we like to be focused on ourselves, uh, be focused on our football, uh, make us independent from is it now a away game or is it Southampton be focused on 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 your idea on your on on your game plan and then it's our aim to yeah at least uh, keep the gap between us and them or if you have the possibility to make it even bigger there's a lot be made of Charlie Austin who's come back into the Southampton team and is playing very well how dangerous a player is he do you think no, he is a top player, a dangerous player, but they have a lot of uh, dangerous players. So their their whole offensive is a threat. Uh, their midfield is very strong as well, physically strong, technically strong. They have uh, yeah a, a defense where uh, Van Dijk is playing. He's probably one of the most rated centre backs in the whole Premier League. Uh, there, it looks like that there will be at any point in his career a big big money move. So. We, as I said, this is a team full of top-class individuals uh, and uh, nobody expected them with 18 points after 18 games. Uh, but at the end, this is the truth at the minute. I have uh, no idea what, what, ring, uh, what uh, went wrong for them so far. Uh, isn't my problem uh, either, but uh, this is the truth and uh, this doesn't change that this is a top, top side with top quality individuals uh, and a very good manager so it doesn't help if we are too much focused on them we have to be clear that we first of all have all we have to make all our uh, details everything what we speak about what we have to do right before we uh, can be focused on Southampton as you say, a lot of top quality individuals in that team, but is now maybe a good time to play them? I don't know. Uh, and uh, I don't care, to be honest, because <laughs> I cannot influence the, the, the fixtures. We take them because we play them. Do they have some problems at the minute? Yes, it looks like that they have some problems at the minute. Uh, is this beneficial for us? Nobody knows before the game. And this is exactly what I said. We have to make us independent from the circumstance and be focused on what we have done in the past. And I think we put together some very good performances, uh, very good results as well, uh, have shown that we are a threat in the offense, uh, be strong in the defense. This is where we have to be focused on. And this as well doesn't help us because it's in the past. It's all about the present where you have to f to confirm what you've done and this is our aim. Even if we, uh, and this dressing room is very confident that this is uh, able to deliver. Uh, as everybody can imagine, we have a fantastic uh, mood in the dressing room at the minute. We drive to Southampton with uh, 21 points after 18 games, a very good away performance and now up to the next one in this busy Christmas period. Is everybody else fit for, for this trip and will you be tempted to make changes tomorrow? Yeah, we have no further new injuries after the game. Chris Löwe uh, worked in Ritual, uh, but he looks good. He is back in training today. So he is uh, part of our squad tomorrow. Uh, Hefele, uh, got a slight uh, setback in the last week. He was out of training for a week, but yesterday he was the first time back in team training. 
um, will not be in the squad, uh, but now we hope that he will be able consistently to train with us for the next uh, three, four weeks. And uh, of course, we we will miss Jonathan Hogg because of his suspension, but everybody else is uh, back in training. It looks like that uh, Phil Billing and Jon Stankovic will be back in the middle of January in training as well, middle to end of January. So I expect both back in January in training, which will be a massive help for us because, as everybody knows, uh, we have a very tight squad and uh, this long time injuries uh, are like new signings for us if they are come back in the uh, January.